Welcome to the Manifestation Bay podcast. My name is Katherine Zinkina, and I'm a manifestation expert, master mindset coach, and multiple seven-figure entrepreneur. I'm obsessed with helping you achieve everything that you once thought was impossible. If you're looking to massively up-level your life, your finances, your relationships, your productivity and success, then you have come to the right place. My goal in this podcast is to help you see the infinite potential within yourself to be, do, and have anything that your heart desires. Think of this podcast as your weekly dose of mindset development to help you maximize who you are and where you're going. Leave it to me to provide you with the tools, the resources, the strategies, and teachings that you need to manifest a reality wilder than your wildest dreams. I know we're about to have so much fun together, so thank you so much for pushing play today, and now let's begin. Hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome back to another episode of the Manifestation Bay podcast. I am officially back from maternity leave, or whatever you want to call it, where I took a break to get thrown in, launched in this whole thing called parenthood, motherhood, babyhood. Like, oh my gosh, it's been a wild journey. I am so excited to be back. Literally, as I was setting up my podcast equipment, I started to get like the jitters of like doing something for the first time again or jumping back into something after you haven't done it in a while. And yes, I did record two episodes, two really long, in-depth, very detailed episodes shortly after Orion, who is my son, was born. Um, And that feels like a long time ago. And really, I haven't recorded any episodes in such a long time. So I'm so excited to be back. Um, I know that there is going to be episodes where I'm going to share all things postpartum, but those this is not the episode for that yet. I feel like I need to integrate it for, I don't know, maybe another month or two or three or six or 12 or 20 years. Who knows <laughs> if anyone's ever been postpartum, if anyone's ever had a child before, you guys know the drill, you know, that it's like the, that first one. I don't know how it is around the second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, but that first one, you go from like zero to a hundred real quick. It's such a shock to the nervous system. Um, but I'm so grateful for it at the same time. And I jokingly tell all my friends that nature knew what it was doing when it made your baby really cute. Like everybody sees their baby as really, really, really cute. And thank God for that, because I don't think babies would survive if they weren't cute (laughs) because they're a lot. And I'm so grateful that I do have a very, very easy baby. I would say easy because once I figured out my mistakes in sleep depriving my poor baby after realizing, after reading this book called The Natural Baby Sleep Solution, I realized that Orion was very sleep deprived and I wasn't giving him the right environment to sleep once he turned six weeks old. Now we figure that out. Long story short, mama's happy, baby's happy, family's happy. We're back. I finally figured out these pockets of time where I can sit down and get some work done, sit down and record some podcast episodes. And all you mamas out there, I don't know if you can hear... I don't know if my microphone is even picking this up, but maybe you can hear the sound of the pump. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, I'm pumping and recording a podcast episode. Get over it. Oh, I should probably put, wow. I should probably put, Jesus. Hold on. Oh my gosh. I should probably put my computer. This is how (laughs) out of touch I am with my new computer. I'm like, I should probably put this on do not disturb and not have it beep a hundred times on this episode. But here on the Manifestation Bay podcast, we keep it real. Okay. I make mistakes. I don't have a professional studio. Shit gets weird. Welcome to my life. Okay. So today's episode, 
I have no notes. And actually, I am going to be batching about four or five episodes in the next couple of days. Maybe even I'm going to get them done today. And I'm just going to batch them all together. And I have literally zero notes except for the title. So I'm just going to spit fire riff over here off of whatever it is that is on my heart to share without any pre-planning whatsoever. Um, before I get into today's episode, we are in October. Now, October is a special month because it is my birthday month, of course. I'm a October Libra, which I shared something really funny uh, yesterday on my Instagram stories, which for sure isn't there by the time this podcast is up. But it was uh, maybe if you watch my story on that particular day, you would have remembered I someone tagged me in this reel where they shared the differences. They showed like the differences between a September Libra and October Libra. And it was so accurate and so hysterical and so hilarious. Like, oh my goodness. So true. So October is my birthday month. It's also launch month. We are launching the Manifestation Babe Academy. A lot of you have been asking me all year long, ever since our last launch in March, when is MBA dropping again? And the last time I launched it, I was actually about to be 20 weeks pregnant and now we're launching it and I will have had a freaking three month old by the time we start the first module, which blows my mind. So you've been hearing about Manifestation Babe Academy all year long. And if you're new to my podcast and like, what the hell is MBA? You can find out all the details at manifestationbabe.com slash MBA, as in M for manifestation, B for babe. I uh, I almost fucked that up. Hold on. (laughs) M for manifestation, B for babe, A for academy, MBA, manifestationbabe.com slash MBA. You can read all the details there. It is literally my life's work jam-packed into a 20-week program where I take you on a journey, on an adventure to master what it means to manifest your dream life, like what it means to be the architect of your mind, the architect of your life, to be able to bring about anything that you could possibly desire literally out of thin air and bring it into your reality while also doing some really deep healing. You know, I'm I'm about the deep stuff. I don't keep a surface level. I'm never about the surface level. So I will show you everything that I've learned in the past. What is it now? 14 years, 15 years since I first got into manifestation back when I was 16 years old. I have gone through so much trial and error. I have literally, and I see this so often, like today I asked um, on my Instagram, I posted a Q and A box of what do you guys want to see on the podcast and, or, or just in general, whenever I post like a Q and a box, I just see so many surface level questions and there's nothing wrong with them. It just shows me that there's so much surface level information out there on the internet. People really believe that there's some magical morning routine that is designed to help you manifest your dream life. There really is not. There's no magical morning routine, right? That's just like one thing. I used to have a morning routine and I just don't anymore because I realized that as a human who's constantly evolving, who's constantly changing, who is a multidimensional being, I need a multidimensional routine. Not even a routine. That's the thing. I have come to the understanding that manifestation is a way of life. It doesn't matter what you do in the morning. It doesn't matter what you do in the evening. It matters what you do that is in alignment for you. And it looks like no one else's strategy. It looks like no one else's vibration because it's designed for you. You understand how you work. You understand how the unconscious mind works. You understand how your mind is creating your reality. And then you understand that manifestation is not this like thing that you do in the morning. (laughs) It's not this thing that you do in the evening, right? It is a whole embodiment It is a vibration that you hold. So anyway, I can get on my soapbox right now, but I just, I see so much surface level stuff. So inside of MBA, I go so far beyond that. Um, And it truly is a journey that I enjoy taking many of you on every single launch, every single round that we launch. So launch this year is October 31st. Yeah, I know Halloween time. Um, And we only open the cart for five days. So I'm giving you plenty of time 
to learn, to figure out for yourself, to align with whether MBA is the right decision for you or not. And the theme of MBA this year because we will have a free workshop leading into it. And the free workshop starts on the 24th of October, which you can sign up for right now. We have officially opened up the wait list or not the wait list, the sign up list for the free workshop. It's called manifest your glow up. And the reason why I called it manifest your glow up and why the theme around MBA this year and around this workshop is glow ups is because I don't know about you, but there's just something special that I love so much. And I noticed that a lot of people love them too. When I go on TikTok or when I go on Instagram and I see a transformation, And I'm not just talking about like weight loss transformations, like just any kind of glow up, any kind of transformation. In fact, I think right when I was opening up this, uh, my microphone and my laptop and, you know, everything I need to record, I came across, actually it's right here, John Hillstead at John, can't even talk at John Hillstead, um, J-O-N-H-I-L-L-S-T-E-A-D. In case you want to follow him, he's amazing. He's also a manifestation teacher. Literally, he is showing his glow up right now. He's talking about how in 2019, he was depressed, had social anxiety, suicidal thoughts, victim mindset, broke, lost, sick, abusing substance, disconnected, and how today he's literally living his best life because he knows his worth. And what else? What else? What else? I'm waiting for the video to load. Radically loves and accepts himself right? He's just like, he's killing it. He, he looks so happy and amazing. And it's again, not about those transformations that you think I'm talking about where, you know, someone lost a hundred pounds. Like I'm looking for the energetic glow ups, right? I had my own glow up and I'm consistently evolving into new glow up versions of myself. And there's just something so amazing when I see these transformations, it lights me up. It motivates me. It fires me up. And I know that those transformations that people are experiencing are literally just setting off a ripple effect for other people to embark on their journeys too. I have a whole episode and I don't remember the na- the number, but I will put it in the show notes in case you want to go back and review it all about my one-year experiment. And my one-year experiment is this experiment that you can embark on that was the result or my glow up from 2016 to 2017 was the result of this one year experiment. And that's like the mindset that I want to bring into this launch of MBA because we are ending the year and we're about to start a new one. And every single year people are gung ho about starting, right? First of all, a lot of people give up around this time on their 2022 goals. Maybe that's you. Okay. Um, Just admit it, be honest with yourself, or maybe you're going strong with your 2022 goals and maybe you're getting discouraged because you're like, oh my God, the year is ending. I'm nowhere near my goals. You know what? I'm nowhere near my goals either. And that's okay. Because the thing is, is that the universe works in the 11th hour. And the worst thing you can do is you can look at the date and say, oh my God, it's October 10th. I already fucked up the whole year. I have to start in 2023, right? Like I have to wait for that magical day, January 1st, for me to start a whole new year. And that does not have to be you. And also a lot of people, they start, okay, so let's say they gave up by October 10th and then they want to start January 1st. The thing is, is that most people with the wrong uh, mindset around what it actually takes to change. A lot of people think it's just behavior. I just got to change my behavior. I just got to change my habits. It's so much deeper than that, first of all. And I'm going to, you know, open my laptop, buy the domain name. I'm going to quit my job. I'm going to start my business. I'm going to stop eating junk food. I'm going to start going to the gym, like whatever it is that they have. By February 1st, With that kind of mindset, without doing the deeper identity work and being that version of you who has already glown up, right? Nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to happen. So I really want, like, the people that I'm looking for in this round of MBA, I'm really looking for the people that understand that in order for this year to end strongly and in order for next year to go exactly how you want it to go, you have to start now. You have to start now. There's this like mindset. And I almost forgot the topic of today's podcast. I'm like, wait, what am I supposed to be talking about? Honestly, this is what's coming through me right now. Um, 
you have to understand that tomorrow, there's this like magical land that people live in called tomorrow. And what I've come to understand that's changed my life personally, why I stopped procrastinating is I realized that tomorrow is not going to feel any differently than today. And a lot of people live in this la la land and this like imaginary land where they think that tomorrow is going to feel differently, where January 1st is going to feel differently. Like all of a sudden I'm going to have more motivation tomorrow, or I'm going to have more, more motivation in a week from now or a month from now. But that's not the case tomorrow, January 1st, or even five years from now, 20 years from now, it's going to feel exactly the way you feel right now. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to feel shit scared. You're definitely not going to feel like doing it, which I learned a very powerful hack, a very powerful mindset that um, initially was presented to me by my coach, Andrea Crowder, who's been working with this phenomenal revolutionary therapist, Dr. John Connolly, who I'm now studying with as well and um, getting sessions with as well. And he presents this phenomenal like mindset that I want to share with you where a lot of people get this wrong, especially when it comes to manifesting because they're like, it should feel good all the time. It should be easy, right? Let it be easy. And yes, there's so many elements of life that should feel easy right? Like let it be easy is a phenomenal place to be in when it does feel easy. But the thing is, is that what you want to be looking for is it's better. It's, it's good to have done it rather than doing it. Let me explain that. When you want to get into the best shape of your life, and I love to use this example because it's just so easy to imagine, right? There's just like the systematic strategic approach to, you know, growing muscles at the gym, getting fit, <laughs> getting in shape, right? And so a lot of people, especially when they enter the realm of manifestation, they enter, enter the realm of human design. Like for example, I'm a generator and generators are supposed to do what lights them up. A lot of people make the mistake of like, well, brownies light me up and sitting on the couch and eating chips lights me up and it feels easy to not go to the gym, right? But I should manifest getting in shape and getting healthy and building my dream life by doing those things because they feel easy and they feel good. The thing is, is that it's better to have done it or sorry, I'm doing a bad job of explaining it. Let me continue with my example. So when you go to the gym, the process of going to the gym doesn't feel that great, right? It's just like the process of it is pretty challenging, especially when you haven't gone in such a long time. When I went to my first Pilates class postpartum, I have not had actually worked out in like six months at that point because I did six weeks postpartum, right? Obviously, because you can't work out before that. And then my body just felt so like heavy and just so blah. And like my hips started hurting, my back started hurting, my ribs were hurting. It's just like a mess. So I stopped like quote unquote really working out. I did a lot of walking, but I didn't do like weightlifting at the gym or Pilates or anything like that. So the first time you go, it's, it's challenging. And, and even when you've gone for a really long time, if you're having like a bad day, again, it's challenging, but everybody agrees that it feels good to have done it. Everybody agrees that they have never regretted a workout on the other side of it. And that's what you need to be in alignment with first and foremost. And once you're in alignment with the end result, the good to have done it, then you can figure out, okay, so how do we make the process a little more pleasurable? But I want you to put, I want you to put yourself into this mindset of like, what in my life is going to be good to have done? So Andrea really helped me with this when I was struggling with my trip to Greece because there was a lot of like things that were weighing on me. There was, um, and it wasn't particularly Greece itself. It was just like, I had so many commitments that I made leading up to Greece, including in Greece, I was showing up as a speaker at a retreat, right. That I had to prep for. And I was feeling so resistant and feeling just like blah about it. And Andrea Crowder said, does it, when you think about having done it, does that feel good for you? Like, does that feel good to you? Does that feel in alignment for you? And I'm like, yes, totally does. 
great. So that's how you know that you're supposed to be doing it. That's how you know you're making the right decisions. If you look at the end result, right? And you're like, oh man, I regret. Like I can already see I'm going to regret doing it. It doesn't feel good to have done it. Like it just feels icky and gross or out of alignment or whatever, or exhausting or burnout inducing or whatever it is then fuck that shit, <laughs> right? Like, let's not even focus on it. Let's get rid of it. Let's let's change that. Let's change that task. Let's change that to-do. Let's change that habit. Let's change that commitment. Let's say no instead. But if it's just the process, then we can work with that resistance, okay? So a lot of people on their path to their glow up, they're going to feel resistance. Signing up for MBA is scary as fuck. Making an investment in a coach that costs like tens of thousands of dollars is scary. Making your first post on Instagram, coming out as a business owner for the very first time is freaking scary. Getting on one knee and asking the love of your life to marry them is freaking scary. There's going to be resistance around it. You might look at the process. You might think that you're out of alignment because the process feels a little bit heavier but you're not tuning in with, is it going to feel good to have done it? Right. And that's where I invite you to focus on. So long story short, that's my invitation for my free workshop. It's completely free. Okay. Yes. I'm launching MBA on the tail end of it. I'm always going to be upfront with you. Yes, absolutely. I will be pitching MBA on the tail end of manifest your glow up free five-day workshop. But That's not why I host the workshop. I host the workshop because when I get into launch energy, I love to give, 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 give. And I make my free workshop so freaking juicy. You won't believe that you didn't pay me any money to be in it. That's my intention. My intention is whether or not you come inside of NBA for the next level, for quite frankly, the advanced level, the amazing level. I still want you to get really good shit out of those free five days with me without ever purchasing anything from me. So regardless of whether you have an intention for learning about MBA, coming into MBA or not coming into MBA, I invite you to go to manifestationbabe.com slash glow up. Again, that's manifestationbabe.com slash glow up. And I will have links in the show notes. So don't worry. You can just be lazy and click it. Okay. Rather than typing it out, (laughs) that's okay with me. We can have a let it be easy process here. Totally okay. Cause it's not like a make it or break it for your goals in life. Um, and then sign up and come in, come inside with me. Now, the real intention of this podcast episode, now that I'm remembering why I pushed play or not play, record, is because I want to talk about how like a very interesting way of thinking, okay? This is not going to be your normal way of thinking. It might not fully make sense, but if you really let it sit with you and integrate, I promise you this is going to be a game changer. I want you to understand that you are already living your worst case scenario, You are already living your worst case scenario, and it's going to be the best thing that you could possibly tap into once you understand that this is already happening. So I was talking to a friend over the weekend who was telling me that they were super duper scared of giving life their all. What if I give it my all and I fail? What if I try really hard and I realize that I'm not cut out for it? right? Do you resonate with that? Because I know for a fact, when I initially started my journey of building Manifestation Babe, that's how I felt. When I was on my grandma's couch, I was like, what if I do give it my all and I still end up back on my grandma's couch? And then I had to come to realize this energetic principle that the peak that you have experienced in your life up until this point is already your foundation. It's already your lowest vibration. And the only way that you could go from here is up. Now you could be telling me, Catherine, technically, no, it could always be worse, right? It could always be worse. There's basement levels. There's underground, right? Below the foundation. And yes, I agree that you can go lower than that. 
but you've already been there before because it's already below your highest vibration, meaning that you have already encompassed this wide container for what's possible for you. And the only way up, the only way from here is up. So let me share a practical example of this. When I was on my grandma's couch, shit scared, not knowing what I was going to do with my life, not knowing where I was going to go, I asked myself, what's the worst thing that could happen? I give him my all and I have to move back in with my grandma. Okay, well, I'm already living that worst case scenario. Like I am already there. And quite frankly, it's not that bad. I could survive this. This is survivable. I'm already here. There's nothing new here. And same thing for you. Wherever you are currently, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ideal, whether it's not ideal, you've already lived your worst case scenario. And there is nothing to be afraid of because even if you're looking at me like, Catherine, what are you talking about? I'm living a really good life. How is this my worst case scenario? What I'm trying to say is that this vibration that you've already embodied, the best vibration that you could have embodied by this point is something that you're never going to lose. It's something that you can never get rid of. It's something you can never forget. This is why millionaires and billionaires who have lost it all somehow, whatever, sabotaged it or something happened, right? The reason why they can so easily rebuild it and why they consistently rebuild it is because they've already been at that vibration once. They can do it again and again and again and again and again. So there really is no risk for you to take care For you to live your dream life, I want you to understand that it's how your mind is perceiving your dream reality as risky that's causing all of this resistance and fear in the first place and how there actually is no risk, you guys, because the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to fall down to a level that you've already lived. And if there's a level higher than that, that you've lived before, you have to understand that that vibration you've already embodied once and you can embody it over and over and over and over and over again. If you have had a job that pays you 200 grand a year and you recently got fired and you can't find another job, like you're having a struggle finding another job because of course it takes a hit, right? On your self-worth and confidence and self-esteem and you're like, shit, is there something wrong with me, right? Which there isn't, that's a lie. You have to understand that you've had a job before once that pays you 200K. So your vibration is already a match to, to that to that 200K and you can get another job that pays you 200K. Now, where things need to change if you want to go beyond 200K is you have to understand that from this point forward, you need to do something radically different. You need to embody a new identity, a new energy, and you have to do it fearlessly. Because fear is just this made up thing in your mind that's presenting your body with all of these sensations from a perceived threat that doesn't even exist. Something I learned in my rapid resolution therapy class in the last couple of weeks is that the purpose of fear, the only purpose that fear serves, the only, is for you to run really fast in short intervals of time. Meaning there's a lion chasing you. You got to fucking run. (laughs) Aside from that, there's nothing to run from. Like in your day-to-day life, I'm sure, I'm sure you could argue because I've been to an African safari before in Kenya and in Rwanda that, oh my God, Catherine, like there are scenarios where someone has to run from lions. Absolutely. Fear then serves a beautiful purpose. Please run from that lion. Like don't die, please don't get killed. But in your day-to-day life, like you running a business, you being a mom or a dad, or you being in a relationship or you um, being in your job, there's no lion. Your mind is perceiving your dream life to be that lion but the lion doesn't exist. And so fear does not serve a purpose here. So you have to take the risk 
Because what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You're already living a worst case scenario. And I think that's so freeing when you realize that, that the only way from here is up and that the only thing that you taking that risk can do is elevate your vibration or teach you a way that elevating your vibration doesn't work. Meaning failure is not a real thing. Failure only tells you one way or several ways that something won't work or failure and sorry, and it'll tell you a couple ways that it doesn't work that will lead you to the way that it does work. And that way that it does work is going to create a stepping stone for the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step. So all this time that you spend worrying about losing money or making a mistake or fucking it up or letting yourself go or sabotaging or whatever it is, it's way more harmful for you to do nothing than for you to do something. And all those things are just made up perceived threats that your mind is creating, that your mind's perceiving, which is then creating sensations in your body that what you're really trying to run away from is discomfort. But the key to success, you guys, is discomfort. So it's this like loop that you have to get out of. It's this loop that you have to get out of in order for you to live your dream life. So that's the message that's been on my heart from a conversation that I had with a friend this weekend. I hope that made sense to you. Again, I had no notes, so I was just like spit firing whatever was on my heart and my mind to share with you. I hope that was helpful. Okay. I hope that inspired you. Um, I want you inside my free workshop, Manifest Your Glow Up, because I want you to glow the fuck up in these five days and end the year strongly, begin 2023 strongly. And then of course, I want you to jump inside of MBA with me once it finally launches on the 31st of this month. So the links again are manifestationbabe.com slash MBA for the wait list and for you to get inside the free workshop. It's manifestationbabe.com slash glow up. Links will be in the show notes. I can't wait to see you there. I love you so freaking much. It's good to be back and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you absolutely loved what you heard today, be sure to share it with me by leaving a review on iTunes so that I can keep the good stuff coming your way. If you aren't already following me on social media, come soak up the extra inspiration on Instagram by following at Manifestation Babe or visiting my website at manifestationbabe.com. I love and adore you so much and can't wait to connect with you in the next episode. In the meantime, go out there and manifest some magic.